Welcome back to SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness YouTube channel. I'm your personal patient advocate, Monica. But before we get started with today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for weekly updates and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Today's video is about what it means to have congestive heart failure. We're still in February, the month of Heart Disease Awareness Month, and most people that know me and been following me know that I have sickle cell beta thalassemia as well as congestive heart failure. And what people don't know or what they don't see is I'm on an oxygen tank. I, I have two oxygen tanks. I have a concentrator. Um, it's right here. I have a portable tank I have a portable tank and but it's it's home base so you won't see this one this one is home base and I use it at night when I can't breathe or it gets extremely hot and I need oxygen and I keep it in the plastic so it won't get dirty and when I'm not using it and I, I, it, it's something to do and plus I change out my course often and I use distilled water or I use purified water in my cup in this cup another thing that I have that people don't see and I've been asked this question a lot of times well Monica if you're on oxygen tank we never see you on it actually when I this is the, the portable oxygen tank that I have it's portable and the uh, thing to turn it on is right here I use this to turn on my oxygen tank and I sling it across my shoulders and I travel with it a lot of times people don't see it because I keep it in my book bag or it's in my suitcase and if I don't need it I just don't bring it out but one of the things that I do have to do is when I'm at the airport whether I'm at the Atlanta airport, California airport, no matter what airport I am. And when I get my ticket, I can't just get a regular ticket. I have to get a ticket that says a customer flying with a disability. So usually when you're a customer flying with a disability, they roll you onto the plane in a wheelchair and they let um, customers that have disabilities, they load them first on the airplane. But when you're going through customs, that that's the interesting part of the or the longest part because when I go through there I have my I don't have it with me on me but I have to pull out my medicine case and I have to pull out my oxygen tank and I have my paperwork on me as to why I'm on an oxygen tank and let me get something right quick This is the bag that I keep my medicines in. I have a planner that I carry with me because it's easier, but I keep that because I know when I travel and I might sometimes I stay longer than planned, so I have to refill my planner, so I keep that on me. But I make sure I do what I need to do to maintain my health. I can't be a patient advocate and not advocating for myself or not taking care of myself. So, I wanted you all to see that, and if you don't see this green tank, chances are you won't. And sometimes when I'm at conferences, I'll go to my room, and I'll get on my oxygen tank until I feel better. Because sometimes I'm walking around a lot, a lot of conferences for a while and just traveling, period. Going from one end of an airport to another end of, of the airport, and a lot of airports I go to are large airports. So, that's something I have to always take in consideration, and I have to prepare and leave early. Cause I know it's gonna take me a minute just to go through go through customs because they got to go through my bag, go through, check my medicine, check my oxygen tank, check everything before I go through. So I wanted people to know that that I, I do have oxygen concentrators and I have them due to the fact that I have congestive heart failure. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's something that's manageable, and that's what I'm always encouraging people and telling people, whatever you have, you can manage it. Don't let it get the best of you. So what I've learned to do is figure out ways to manage it and make sure I have what I need. So this concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Stay hydrated and stay well. Till next time. Goodbye.